okay, here's what happened, everybody. We were going to uh, do the uh, uh, Florida State. No, no University, University of Florida. Florida. Yeah. And uh, Drew, let's see. Ah, Delta. Yeah, we were going to be gone for like uh, four days. Because we're doing Florida and we're doing another college oh, really? or two. Okay. okay. And uh, I didn't want, I didn't see why Drew and I had to drive separately at 5 in the morning. It was like a 7.05 flight or yeah. something out, yeah, of, out of LAX. Why we both had to f drive separately, leave our cars separately and pay separately and take the separate bus and all that kind of stuff. So I told Drew to pick me up on his way in at, uh, you know, 5.15 in the morning. And this is 11.30 the night before we're doing the radio show. He says, uh, no, he doesn't have time because he has to go to the hospital and make the rounds right, that's true. at uh, like 4.30. But uh, if, if I want, I can go home with him and sleep on his sofa and then wait in the car while he makes the rounds at 4.30 in the morning. That's right. Well, my, you remember what my response to that was, Drew? Uh, so, uh, Just say no. If you kiss don't. my ass. No. Oh. I said, uh, are you going to leave the uh, windows cracked in the car so I can get some air? <laughs> How dare you, by the way, <laughs> waiting in the car. So I, I, I refused to drive myself. I said, you must pick me up. He said, he'll not. I said, I'm not uh, driving myself to the airport. And then I insisted a listener come pick me up and drive me to the airport. I think it would be an honor for one of the yeah. listeners well, to drive me to the airport. Well, this young lady called and it made it seem well, like Well, I said, he, I, here's what I needed. I needed a, <gasps> I needed a female. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, Mistake one. Yeah, I needed a female. I needed her to have a, a safe, newish automobile that could hold a week's worth of luggage. And I needed her to be prompt because you have to be at my house at like uh, 5.30 to pick me up and take me to the airport. And uh, we talked to a girl. She called in. Again, we narrowed it down to three or four yeah. girls. Yeah. You know, this thing is weird about this whole story. Is oh, whenever my God. Wasn't there, weren't you going to, uh, remember there was a story about uh, you farting on somebody and that whole thing too? What? Wasn't there some... Okay, it sounds okay. sort of familiar, yeah. but I don't know what it is. Yeah. All right, here's the point. The point is, is everyone thinks this story is bizarre. To me, it always sounded very, very, uh, yeah. it didn't sound Reasonable. bizarre at all. Reasonable. Yeah. I'll get some listener, take me to the airport. So some, some chick called in, and she said that, uh, you know, she gets up. She has to be at work at 6 every morning. She gets up really early anyway. She, she lived sort of down the street. And right. uh, it just was all worked out. It was going to be perfect. And then I started thinking, maybe I shouldn't give her my exact address. You know, man, that might be a little bit weird. So what I did is I live up in the hills. This is my old house. And uh, there's those hill, those stairs, stairs, the stairs that the maniacs uh, hike up for exercise. Uh, they're a bitch. And uh, let me tell you, the only time they're worse is uh, during the winter, about uh, 5.15 in the morning when it's just, it couldn't get any when colder. When you're carrying two huge suitcases. And you're carrying two huge suitcases. And it's, it's wet. And it's like it was like misting. And, oh, not quite raining. Freezing. And I told her, meet me at the bottom of the street. Meet me at, uh, down on Beachwood Canyon. So I uh, took the stairs down there about 5, eh, about five. 15, 520 in the morning, and I just stood there. It's dark. There's nobody around. I just stood there, and then uh, couldn't find her. And uh, then I started thinking, well, maybe she stopped at the corner, but I had so much luggage that I thought, okay, I'm going to leave my luggage in front of the stairs. I'm going to run down the sidewalk and turn the corner, see if I see her car around the corner. And I thought, someone's going to see my luggage sitting out there like 5, 30 in the morning, like the street sweep or something. I didn't know what to do. I just left the luggage. I ran. I ran. But now, now it's like Nah, it's six. Oh. It's like six, six, yeah. ten now. Yeah. Drew, uh, Drew's going. How many people showed up at the Florida event? By the way, that was eight thousand. Eight thousand people yes. in this uh, yeah. basketball arena. Yeah. So now, at a certain point, I, I cross this threshold. It's like it's like six thirteen, and I realize this uh, C <laughs> is not coming to pick me up, and I'm standing out there like an idiot. Still, never have found that woman. Oh yeah. Hopefully, hopefully she's in the ground. Yeah, she may resurface one of these days. No, I mean in the ground. I know what you mean. Yeah. The so now, I got my suitcase. Now, like a maniac, I'm running up 450 stairs. With the luggage. With the luggage and the, like, overcoat and Freaking the beanie. Out. But doing that thing where you sweat profusely. Yes. It's freezing outside. You're wearing six layers and you're, you're drenched into underpants. Yes. Gone. <laughs> A mess. Paper mache. Could have wringed them out. Yeah. Get to the car. Like, <laughs> throw the junk in the car. And I'm like, speeding. Because here's the thing. We got to leave at 7 or whatever to get to Florida to By take a huge uh, crowd. You know, take yeah. A, yeah, huge crowd there. But to take like a three-hour car ride. No, no. It wasn't that crap. bad. It wasn't that bad. But we, we were at, we would, it, leaving at 7 got us there at 4. And give us enough time to go to the hotel, change our clothes, and go to this event at like 7. Right. And the hotel, the it's airport is not something. next yeah. to the no, campus no. It's a, it's and like, so on and so forth. Yeah, There's yeah. a little travel I after mean, we, we get we had there. an extra three-hour little buffer here. 
It's not really three hours. It was two and a half or something. But it was some, it was some narrow period of time, just enough to go to the hotel, change your clothes, and yeah. you know, get going. True. You really know how to take the wind out of a story. Well, we are cutting it close. We had about three hours. <laughs> well, but... but I think of it as uh, only the length of uh, Gone with the Wind. I remember thinking we were supposed to get the, we were supposed to land at 4.30, and the event was like at 7. Yeah, yeah. and the point is that we weren't landing on the campus. No, we were not landing on the campus. Yeah, it took some time. Thank you. Jesus Christ. All right, all right. Do you have to undermine? No, I don't mean to. Oh, well, then quiet. It's a good story. The point is, it was. The point is... I love your stories. Okay, here we go. Now I'm getting my car. I'm driving like a man possessed. And, uh, and you know, do a thing where I pull into the parking thing and throw the keys at the guy. And I'm just, I'm just running like OJ through the airport, dragging the stuff. Uh, I'm on, on the plane. Drew is on the plane. I uh, come running into the terminal. There's the plane. It's it's parked. I see the plane. Drew's on the plane. Uh, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm by that point. Oh no, Drew there. got off yeah. the plane. Yes, yeah. although he left his uh, coat. It's like a two thousand uh, dollar camel hair oh, duster on there that his old lady just bought him oh. the week earlier. It's oh. on the plane. Drew's freaking out. <laughs> Drew's yelling at me. I'm yelling at Drew. Uh, it's awesome. And it's like, all right, let's get back. Let's get on this plane. No, nope. no can do. No can do. Why not? Why not? They uh, they, clo- they closed the door. But, this, but was yet- pre- this was pre-9-11, too. Yeah. This was when that kind of thing was like, what? And they go, oh, yeah, Delta has a firm policy. Ten minutes before uh, takeoff time, before we pull back. Ten Plane's minutes, sitting there. Seven. I'm holding the ticket. Here we go. Now, We're waving at the captain. The, 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 the captain's t- standing, staring at us. The time that we spent, by the way, arguing oh. about it could have gotten on and off the oh. plane nine times oh, and yes. taken a leak and went to the and if Cinnabon. You remember, even after they, we finally capitulated, the plane sat there an extra ten minutes oh, it was or like, something. It was, like, yeah. it was what you do when you F with people. I was like, please, let just just let us on the plane. No, not good. The door's closed. Yeah. By the way, the door's closed. What? what and, and welded shut? <laughs> what happens when you land in Florida? They get the Heliarch out, they get a acetylene torch, How and they the cut next the thing plane open? that comes to that jetway? Yeah, what do they do with the door? Dynamite the door open? Oh, no, no, no. They don't. They use uh, uh, Daryl Gates has a converted uh, Humvee with a battering ram on it. The one he uses to get in the crack house. How about you turn the... My front door's closed, too. I turn the knob. (laughs) Jesus Christ. And then I start going nuts. Yes, you went nuts. You went berserk. And then when I start going nuts, I I went to some sort of... It just fugue. a fugue state where yelling, I started yelling, yelling all the air staff, get, to the, people. get me the guy from the commercial. I kept yelling. Remember that one? Yes. Where's the guy from the commercial? I kept saying, huh? Wait a minute. Okay. The guy, the helpful guy. What? What guy? The guy, you know, let me see. I've seen the commercial. The guy drops his plans and then picks it up and he runs all the way across the airport chasing after this guy because he drops him. Go get him. I need help. It, it, by the way, compared to the guy in the commercial, this is nothing. Finally, finally, the, the guy, guy's like, what guy in the, the guys commercial? The guy finally gave up and got us away from the corporate office. Remember, some woman shows up in a yeah. suit. Right, right. Uh, what's, what can I do for Mr. Kroll? <laughs> Give me the guy for the commercial. <laughs> Was it like the out of towners, and you were getting names of everybody? And saying uh, you're no, get no, them? It was, that that was far more civilized than what yeah. Adam was doing. Adam was going insane. Well, you got to realize my odyssey started at uh, five fifteen that morning, yeah. and and you know I go to bed at two thirty, yeah. so it, it was, was like it I was, was I was out of my mind. At it was that not. Point. It was more about what's wrong with the door. There's the captain. There's the plane. Here we are. What do you mean policy? It's my and, policy that I get on the plane. That's my policy. Right. Right. <laughs> That's a, By the way, I recommend people do that one because people go, our policy is we don't give change on gifts or two. Oh, really? That's funny because my policy is I always get change. Well, there we go. Mexican standoff. Policy against policy. Your policy. My policy is I get on the goddamn flight. That's my policy. This, this is what this is what was going on right there. No, that, that's a good thirty and, minutes. And then, and then every minutes. every thirty seconds, I would say the plane is still here. <laughs> We're still arguing. It's still there. And they'd be like, "Well, Mr. Roll, the purple rope is up. You see oh, the purple rope there? That means we can't. Oh. That's my policy. The purple rope." All right, rope but is up. we did. We did get on. We got on a flight like an hour and a half later or something. Yeah, maybe having, not even that long. But if Drew you remember, and I argued for three oh, hours. Oh yeah, then you took it out on me. Then, then well, I became the given me a ride. That's what I'm talking about. That's well, where we it could went. avoid it. The whole That's thing. Where it went. But right. but listen. But then we hauled ass to the event. Changed in the gymnasium we were in. Remember, we yeah. had to get our stuff out there and just boom, went right in. Yeah. And, and no and no word from the listener. Oh, no, no, never did hear from That her. must have been a good never six years put ago. A, put a bounty out on her <laughs> yeah. ass when yeah. we got back. Yeah. Nothing. And you know the thing that's funny. By far the biggest gig ever we've uh, yes. we've ever done. Right. I mean, there was you know it was the largest popular guys group of kids. Two really. three thousand people normally. This was eight maybe eight, eight thousand five hundred people. Right. Huge a basketball stadium. Yeah. All right. Let's take a little break. Let's Drew. do that. Take a little walk down memory lane. Yeah, it was fun.